Hey guys, today I am going to show you how you can write equation and some formulas and some fractions in Adobe Illustrator. So, and some square root also. So, let's write jump into Illustrator. Actually, we will see here four point. First one is fraction. How to how we can write fractions in Illustrator, and the second one we will write some degree and power terms like a square b square and sin theta and 60 degree sin 60 degrees like this and third one we will write some equation like uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab is equals to a plus b to the whole square and like this formulas and fourth one is a square root and cube root so let's start with the first one which is fraction how we can write the fractions in adobe illustrator let's start with the first one which is fraction and how we we can write the fractions in adobe illustrator so firstly just uh, you have to keep in mind one thing which is glyphs just uh, if you are not seeing the glyphs in the right side of the burger space area just go to type and check the glyphs it will appear first one just start writing fraction and for fraction just open glyphs menu and just go to font and select the font married pro and let's write some fraction first so first if i have to write the fraction numerator so for numerator just select numerator in the drop down menu and double click on any it's supposed to by 2 we have to write then double click on 2 and backward slash on double click and again select in the drop down menu denominator and click on double click on 2 it will write 2 divided by 2 and equality sign you can just directly write from the keyboard and let's write some other fraction also just select numerator double click on the numbers and again backslash double click and again select denominator and double click on any number which you want here i am typing 5 that's why i am double clicking on 5 it will write 7 upon 5 and again you can write fraction in similar fashion like if you will write simply without using glyphs just uh, simply you can write 4 divided by 5 but it will not look like exactly fraction so here glyphs comes in handy little bit i think it's fraction done and let's write some degree and power terms so let's hide these uh, layers just hide the equation uh, because uh, later i will use that in making thumbnail of this video so let's add this for a second and let's write some power and degree terms again for power and again for power and degree terms just uh, open firstly select text tool or just press T for the text tool and click anywhere on the artboard and uh, open glyphs menu and again you have to just uh, if you want to five Q just select uh, 5 and select this drop down menu superscript and double click on any number if you want to write 60 degree just type 60 and select the superscript and double click on the degree icon now if you want to write a square just type a and in the drop down menu select superscript again and double click on the 2 it will write a square let's write some equation equation also so for so for equation just select the text tool and write some plain equation like uh, suppose we have to write a square plus b square plus 2 a is equal to a plus b all to the power 2 so just write a plus b plus 2 ab is equal to bracket in bracket a plus b and now we have to write some superscripts so just select the superscript and 
just uh, use the arrow key and if you write as per just uh, select the super script menu and double click on to it will just uh, raise the power to on the number of the left side of the cursor now it's very easy i think you got it all these and let's write one more thing sin 60 degree is equals to half so firstly just uh, you can write in plain text sin 60 is equals to half now for 1.2 we will use the first point just uh, in the superscript or you can select the uh, for sorry for the fraction just select the numerator and sorry select the numerator and type one so double click on one and backslash double click and select the denominator and double click on two it will write half and now shift the cursor to 60 degree and now in the select the superscript and double click on the degree icon it will write 60 degree so let's write theta in mathematics we often say theta but here it's available in slash zero so select double click on slash zero it will write sin theta and again use superscript you can write sin square theta again use some simple text just write plain text cos and use again superscript double click on to it will it will write cos square theta and is equal to one so i hope you got these little tips in illustrator and let's hide this and move on to third one i think uh, we already covered the third one which is equation we had written some equation which is sin 60 degree sin square plus cos square and again a square plus b square plus 2ab so i think equation just covered you will not need any more than these equations so that's it and let's move on to fourth one which is square root let me tell you something in in illustrator you cannot write some square root and the cube root directly uh, in any any way you cannot write in words in ms office you can write there are uh, tools in the ms word you can just write and copy in the illustrator so there is no any direct way to write some a square root or cube root in illustrator so let's use some graphical tools for this and it's uh, it will be very easy and so let's start firstly you can just use a pen tool or any line line segment tool so i am going to use pen tool so for pen tool just uh, type p e, you will use pen tool and make some root type symbol a square root type symbol using pen tool and remove the fill color and increase the strokes you will get uh, the actual square root shape using pen tool and uh, after that you can uh, write some plain equations or numbers and position that under the square root and you can write like this i think it's done for this video and i hope you got some important tips in writing equations and formula in adobe illustrator feel free to subscribe this channel for more awesome coming future videos and i hope you like this and thank you for watching see you in the next one